Center for the Arts. My name is Hyla Crane. I'm the Executive Director, and today we're bringing you another Art Center Live. Now this week, we are focusing on the four extraordinary women artists whose work will be displayed in our gallery starting next week in an exhibition uh, entitled Florida Paradise Found. Yesterday we interviewed my friend Rachel Pierce and today I am thrilled to have my dear friend Joanne Sanborn, well known for her work as an Everglades artist, with us today. Hi Joanne. Hi Hyla. Hi everybody. So glad you could come today. Well, we are thrilled that you are here, Joanne. I do want to mention the other two artists who will be joining us this week. Tomorrow, we'll be interviewing Emily James, and Friday, we'll wrap up with Phyllis Pransky. Joanne, I want to talk a little bit about your background as an artist, because you have been doing this for quite some time. How did you discover that being an artist was what you were going to do? I've always I, I've always taken art classes when the opportunity arose when my children were young. I went to the community college where I got, I think, an excellent foundation in the arts. Um, but it wasn't until I got divorced and moved to Florida that I decided I was going to do what I wanted for the rest of my life. And painting became that passion. Not only are you an extraordinary and highly recognizable painter with your style and with all of the work you do capturing the beauty of the Everglades here in Florida, um, you're also quite a talented instructor, which I know because you have been teaching at the Marco Island Center for the Arts, formerly known as the Art League of Marco Island, for quite some time. How did you start teaching? Well, I started teaching in 2004 when they couldn't find an acrylic teacher. And so I had to learn right along with my students, and I think I still do that today. I really find that a class brings up questions that I need to find the answer to if I don't already have it. And um, sometimes students bring in information that's just really fun to know. Well, I know from the feedback that we get from your students that they learn an awful lot. And we are very grateful that for all of this time you've been teaching. Now, you started something, I'm not going to say it's new because it's probably happened at the Art Center historically, but new during my time here. Um, it's not exactly a class. Can you explain what you're sort of leading here at the Art Center on Wednesday afternoons, what you were doing just I, a few hours ago? I don't hours even ago. consider myself a leader. I consider myself a facilitator. Okay. Um, all we're doing is have an open studio on Wednesday afternoon from 1 to 3.30 where anyone can come and paint. Your medium, your choice of subject, um, your time frame. But that's when this the art Get, uh, the Center for the Arts has very graciously given us a room so that artists can come together and just paint together. Because otherwise, it's a fairly solitary um, profession. We're in our studio, we're by ourselves, and so it's really fun to see what other people are doing, what materials they're using, how they're manipulating their materials, and I just love it. It's, this is the second month that we've been doing it, and we'll be doing it through March. So if you're an artist out there who would like to um, come along, please do. We'd love to have you. Well, we would There's welcome people. Beginners to experience artists are welcome. I think it is extraordinary for building our community of artists. As you said, this is something that is open to anyone as long as we can fit you in our room safely. It is the consideration these days here That's at the right. Center Center for the Arts. So we do need you to call, and there is a small fee just for the using the room. Um, but I have come and visited in those classes, and it is wonderful to see how much peer-to-peer -peer learning happens. And we are really grateful to you for uh, bringing the idea to us and being willing as a more experienced artist to being the facilitator for this program. So I just want to thank you for that, Joanne. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes. As Joanne, 
we're, we're going to talk a little bit about Florida Paradise Found. Can you tell um, me and those who have joined us today or maybe joining us later a little bit about the artwork that they can expect to see that you will be putting in the exhibition? Certainly. Um, let me tell you first that when I came to Florida, I had no intention of ever living in Florida, didn't think I liked Florida. And when I saw the Everglades, I just fell in love. It was so exotic. I had no idea that our country even contained something like this. And it was just wonderful. I loved the forms, the great big forms that were thrusting up out of the earth. I loved the profusion of foliage and animals and light and birds. It was just, I just fell in love. And so I've been painting it ever since. And um, my paintings have varied over the years. But when I thought of the paintings for this particular exhibition, I thought, we're so lucky we live in paradise. And sometimes we forget that. We go about our daily thing and a sudden sunset will catch our eye and we think, thank you. This is so wonderful. And um, maybe a rain shower, you know, it's just nature around us. So seeing a manatee or a dolphin still excites me after years. Um, so, so I think paradise, we truly have paradise found. And I'm hoping that my paintings for this show can um, highlight some of the moods of that, um, that uh, title. I, I'm noting that you have a few of your paintings behind you. Are they sort of representative of what we might be seeing here at the Art Center? Yes. Now, the, the one on the bottom, if you can see it, the blue sky with the clouds, um, when you get up close, those clouds are almost dancing. It was one of those days that had had a mist and the mist was lifting and turning into clouds at the same time. So so the, the sky was kind of lifting and the clouds were twirling and there was a little breeze. And that's what I tried to portray there. And the name of that one is um, Learning to Dance. And the one above it is quite a different mood for Florida. We see the stormy skies, the, the rains come in and the palm trees are waving in the breeze. And the name of this one is Whispers in the Wind. And we can all, we, there, it has that mysterious quality that sometimes we find as the, as the mood of the day changes and a rainstorm um, is threatening. So those are the two that you can see. <laughs> well, they, the rest they are, are packed beautiful. and ready to be delivered. I am impressed. Thank you for that. You are uh, incredibly professional, as we were discussing right before we started the live stream. The All of the women artists represented in these shows, while award-winning and talented beyond anything that I can describe, are also really smart and savvy businesswomen, very entrepreneurial, so that they've been able to take, not only be fulfilled as artists um, with the content of the work, but also very savvy from the business perspective of being able to bring their art out to the public and, and as you said, make a living from it. So bravo, um, lessons that some of our younger people can really learn from. Now, Joanne, um, and as you said, Paradise Found, I know you're from New England like me, and. <laughs> Let's just be grateful that we're not shoveling snow or oh. scraping <laughs> yeah. ice off our windshields right now. Um, yes. You've talked about how the Everglades, how the environment has been a really powerful influence on you, but who is there any who, who a person who has been an influence on you in your work as an artist or development over time? There are a number of artists whose work I have looked at and loved, um, almost all of them. I, coming from Gloucester, Mass., I'm particularly um, intrigued by the work of the Luminous. And that's a group of artists, including um, Fitzhugh Lane. Uh, I'm not going to remember their names right now, but for, for them, the light comes within the canvas. The light source is within the canvas. And, and so they're beautiful, usually have a little mystery quality, and I've always loved their work. Um, but I also love uh, certainly the Impressionists all bring something different to 
um, art knowledge. Van Gogh with his heavy brush strokes and passion in each one and the, uh, the way that Cezanne moved from turning a peach to uh, abstracting a mountain. I, I think they all bring something that we can learn. And, and I continue to learn today. I look at other work, uh, the work of other artists, and I'm amazed, astounded, and trying to learn from it. I think we um, all take have a little bit of a piece of that in us, and we should enjoy it. That's just wonderful, Joanne. Well, thank you for joining us. I know that I will see you tomorrow because all of the work is arriving at the gallery so we can begin to hang it. And this is going to be a really, really special exhibition, a, a, a crown jewel for the Art Center. So I really hope our friends out there, um, our opening reception is next Tuesday, January 11th. It's from 5.30 to 7.00. Please come join us. We will, of course, be uh, offering a complimentary glass of wine from our wonderful wine sponsor, Total Wine and More. And if you can't make it on that evening, the exhibition is going to be with us almost through March. I don't have the exact end date. I know that as opposed to just being with us for a month, this exhibit will be with us for a, a two-month period. So we are excited for people to have the chance to come and to enjoy and be enveloped by what is truly the wonder and the beauty and the paradise that we know as Florida. So my friends, I oh, I almost forgot, not only do we have this extraordinary exhibition in our main galleries, but in our La Petite Gallery, we are going to be featuring the work of Claire Curie, who is an artist who works in encaustics. Her work is just delightful. It is beautiful. I've seen some of the pieces that she's bringing and you're going to want to not miss that. You're going to want to come and see that as well. Joanne, thank you again for joining us. It is always a pleasure. You are such a valuable member of the Marco Island Center for the Arts family and I appreciate everything that I have learned from you in my time here, almost eight years now, um, about the history of the Art Center, and it's really helped to move us forward into the future. For my friends out there, you also are really special members of the Marco yes. Island Center for the Arts family. You are our art family, and just remember, whether you're here on Marco or, or away, we're working every day in every way to be your art home. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Hyla. Bye-bye.